It's Valentine's Day and love is in the air. Yes, it's all about hearts and roses right now. But what about the STDs, especially the financial ones? Financial STDs refer to sexually transmitted debt and they can have more severe and far longer lasting effects than the nasty physical ones. While the physical STDs might give you an irritable itch, a financial STD might see you lose your house and everything you have worked for, even before you met your partner. One does not have to be married to have financial STDs. Here's an example. Bob and Susan have been in a relationship for nearly a year. Bob wants to buy a car, but he can't get vehicle finance or a loan anywhere because he has poor credit rating. So Bob lovingly asked Susan to take out a loan in her name. And because Bob is the love of her life, she agrees. But Bob, slim than what he is, then registers the car in his name only. So three months later, when they break up, Bob keeps the car, but Susan is left heartbroken, high and dry, and still has to repay the loan on the car that Bob and his new girlfriend are now driving around in. Not cool. Don't be Susan. Kick Bob, Jamil, Damien or Dimitri to the curb the moment you sense them wanting to use you to get a loan or you find yourself constantly giving them money. Love might live here, stupidity doesn't. And if you are planning on getting married, do you know of the type of marriage that could leave you with the worst STDs? Married in community of property. Married in community of property normally means what is yours is ours, or is mine is also ours, and what is ours is ours, all jointly. This includes debt incurred while you are married and even debt before you were married. In effect, this means if one of you goes out and splurges on a credit card, then both of you are liable for it. Like, no? That expensive fishing rod, those fabulous shoes, and the unforgettable boys or girls night charge to the card is 100% your responsibility to pay as well. Even if a debt is incurred solely in your partner's name, while you are married, the creditor can go after you for that debt as well. If the love of your life has debt before marriage, you will also be liable for that full debt and debt repayments to the creditor. When you can't manage your debt repayments and you apply for debt review with National Debt Advisor, it will have to be a joint application, even if the one spouse has little or no debt to their name. Now do you understand why it is more important to see your partner's credit profile than meeting their parents? One of the most important things to remember is that being married in community of property is the default system of marriage in South Africa. So no prenup means you're automatically married in community of property. There are other types of marriage systems too, like antinuptial with accrual, antinuptial without accrual, and of course, religious, customary, and civil marriages. For more information on these different types of marriage systems, debt and debt review, go to www.nationaldebtadvisors.co.za. Love is beautiful. Love is liquor, but love can be blind. Don't be the victim of sexually transmitted debt. There is no ointment to cure that. Happy Valentine's Day.